I added every Garden of Ban Ban monster to Minecraft. First, I added some of the fan-made monsters. Let's start with Tall Victor. I used an Enderman for Tall Victor because he's tall. I colored him fully green, added these things on the bottom, and then I gave him an eye. After that, I added his goofy mouth, gave him a broccoli head, and fixed his arms a little bit. I added Tall Victor to the game, and he actually ended up looking pretty good. He looks kind of funny when he walks, though. I don't really think it's supposed to look like that. Since Tall Victor is supposed to be a vegetable, it only makes sense to make him fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, yeah, Victor had no chance. Jumbo Josh eats too many vegetables. I went to the end to find more tall Victors, and then I got them all to chase me. I don't even know if this is scary. His face looks kind of goofy. Okay, well, even if it's not scary, it's still deadly. Tall Victor, you better apologize for killing me, or I'm not looking away. I'm going to give Tall Victor a 9 out of 10. He honestly looks pretty good, especially as a meal. Next, I made Nibbler. I decided to make Nibbler from a wither, because, well, I don't know. I just never use the wither. I kind of forgot got to record me making Nibbler, so here's me adding some orange things on his arms, cause that's all I have. I spawned the Nibbler in game, and he was honestly looking pretty crazy. Ignore the black spot on the bottom, I didn't know this would happen. I'm pretty sure Nibbler doesn't fly around and attack random mobs, so I don't think this is accurate. I'm also not sure if you see it, but he kinda looks like the guy from Monsters Inc. There's honestly not much to do with this guy, so I decided to see if he can beat Jumbo Josh. Jumbo Josh is the most powerful Ban Ban mob so far, but he might lose this one. Yeah, Nibbler's health bar is barely moving. This isn't looking good. Come on, Jumbo Josh. You can win this one. Okay, I was lying. There's no way he was winning this one. I guess I'm gonna have to step in and end this. Yeah, I had even less chance than Jumbo Josh. Nibbler is too good. I decided to give Nibbler an 8 out of 10. I honestly can't really tell if he looks good or bad, so I'm just gonna go with good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Miss Luna. I decided to make her from a bee because I think she's a bug. I colored her body purple, gave her some eyes, and then I added her crown. After that, I added her dress, gave her some legs, and finally added her wings. She actually ended up looking pretty good in game. The flying suits her well. I will say her eyes look kind of weird though. She looks sad. I decided to spawn a baby Miss Luna, and it looked exactly the same. I don't really know what I was expecting. Miss Luna is probably pretty good at fighting, so I decided to put that to the test. Okay, maybe I was wrong. She didn't even really fight. I spawned an army of Miss Lunas, and then I decided to make them all follow me. Okay, this one isn't that scary. Oh wait, why is she upside down? Wait, I just noticed that bees like to attack Zoglins for some reason. Look at them all ganging up on the Zoglin, like what is going on? I decided to give Miss Luna an 8 out of 10. She looks really good, but she doesn't really do anything. She's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Dr. Fluffy Pants. I made him from a panda. I moved his head, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. Next, I added his eyes, gave him some ear things, and made the heart on his chest. Dr. Fluffy Pants is definitely an interesting name for a guy like this. He looks kind of buff. Also, we'll ignore his head. I know it's broken, but I don't care. Wait, look at him rolling around. That's kind of crazy. Since I made him from a panda, I decided to feed Dr. Fluffy Pants some bamboo. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with him. This is not okay. I decided to spawn a baby Dr. Fluffy Pants, and this is what happened. Well, the good thing is I can't break him by feeding him bamboo. The bad thing is his head is floating higher than before by default. Oh wait, they're following me because I'm holding bamboo. I didn't even realize. Since Dr. Fluffy Pants is a doctor, I decided to see if he can perform an operation. Alright, I guess he doesn't feel feel like doing it. He's just gonna leave this villager to die. I decided to give Dr. Fluffy Pants a 7 out of 10. I like how he looks, but his head is broken. We can't excuse that. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Chef Pigster, and I made him from a pig. I gave him his face on his chest, added his other head on the top, and then I gave him some sideways arms. Chef Pigster actually looks pretty good in game, but I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a lot bigger. His arms also don't move with his head, but I'm not fixing that. Chef Pigster is supposed to be a chef, so I decided to see if he can cook me a meal. I probably I probably shouldn't have chosen a pork chop, that's kinda messed up. After that, I decided to spawn a baby Chef Pigster. I kinda forgot that all the baby pigs have this weird thing with their head. Also, there's an eye on his back, not sure how I didn't notice that. I spawned an army of Chef Pigsters, and then I made them all follow me. Yeah, this definitely isn't scary at all. I decided to give Chef Pigster an 8 out of 10, his bottom head looks really good. Not the top head though, I don't know what this is. Next, I made Coach Pickles. I used a Strider to make him because he kind of resembles a Strider. I made his legs a lot bigger colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. Next, I added his trunk, gave him some weird looking eyes, and then I added his ears. Okay, I'm pretty sure something is wrong, but I can't really tell what. I fixed his legs, and this is how he looks in game. He honestly looks pretty good. Okay, his other foot is attached to the wrong leg still, but I'm just gonna leave it. Also, we ignore the missing texture here. It doesn't look
look like that in Blockbench. Coach Pickles probably coaches some sort of sports team, so let's see if he can beat me in a snowball fight. Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's see what a baby Pickles looks like. He looks just about as cursed as the big one. I decided to ride a Coach Pickles, and I'm pretty sure that something doesn't look right. I'm going to give Coach Pickles a 7 out of 10. He honestly looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Hunter Tim. I made Hunter Tim from a Ravager. First, I made his head bigger, then I colored him purple, and I added some hair to his head. I also gave him a big wide mouth, added his eyes, and gave him a couple of arms and feet. Hunter Tim looks kind of strange in game, but at least nothing is broken this time, I think. Since Hunter Tim is a Ravager, let's see him take on a villager. Wow, he's fast. His head looks kind of weird when he attacks, but that's fine. Also, I'm pretty sure hunters aren't supposed to kill villagers, they're supposed to kill animals to feed the villagers. But I guess Hunter Tim is just built different. To see if he really is built different, I decided to challenge him to a fight. Yeah, I had zero chance, I can't even tell where I was supposed to be hitting. I decided to spawn an army of Hunter Tims, and then I made them fight a warden. The warden seems to be killing a lot of them, but they might actually win this. Dang, the Hunter Tims actually won. I mean, it was a 10v1, so it's not really an accomplishment, but I'm still surprised. I'm going to give Hunter Tim an 8 out of 10, he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. For the next mob, I made Stinky Joel. I used an iron golem to make him. I shaped his body, colored him green, and then I added these teeth things. After that, I gave him some eyes, colored his legs, and then I rotated his arms a bit. I don't think I even have to say something is broken, because you already know it is. I fixed his arms, which took a while, because I somehow put both arms on the wrong side, and this is how Stinky Joel looks in game. He kinda stinks. I'm just kidding, he doesn't actually look that bad. I decided to see who would win in a fight, Stinky Joel or Hunter Tim. This fight is actually a lot closer than I thought. Stinky Joel won. I'm actually kinda surprised, I thought Hunter Tim had that. Will he beat two Hunter Tims though? Nope, two Hunter Tims is too many for him. I spawned an army of Stinky Joels, and honestly I'm not sure why, I didn't even do anything with them. I then gave Stinky Joel a bottle of Dragon's Breath, because that's the stinkiest thing I could find, and then I decided to give him a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he isn't interesting enough. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Noodles Ninja. Since Noodles Ninja looks like a jellyfish, I decided to make him from an Elder Guardian. I removed all this stuff, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. After that, I added his eyes, added some noodles on the side, and then I gave him some arms and legs. Surprisingly, nothing broke with this one. His legs are in the ground, but he's supposed to be in the water anyway, so that's fine. Also, the sound he makes is kind of weird, but I didn't add that. That's not my fault. Let's see a baby Noodles Ninja. Oh yeah, that's not a thing. I decided to spawn a Noodles Ninja in the water, and this is how he looked. He looks a lot better in water because you can actually see his legs. He would also look a lot better if his arms and legs moved, but I'm not doing all that. I decided to fight Noodles Ninja to see if he really is a ninja. I really should get some armor for these fights. I decided to give Noodles Ninja an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but his eyes are kind of scary. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Silent Steve. And Silent Steve is a serpent, so I made him from a warden. Because those two are the exact same thing. I deleted everything except his body, colored him purple, and then I started shaping his new body. After that, I started making his head, gave him some eyes, and then I added his tongue. Yeah, this looks really bad, but it's gonna have to do. At least he isn't broken. He also kind of moves like a serpent, so that's cool. Okay, maybe that's not how a serpent moves, but I'm pretending it does. Since Silent Steve is a serpent, it only makes sense to spawn him in the water. Surprisingly, it actually looks like he belongs here. I decided to see if Silent Steve or Noodles Ninja is the superior water monster. Okay, this fight is kind of weird. I don't think the warden can melee in water. But even though he can't melee, Silent Steve still won. Okay, that's enough Silent Steve for now. He's kind of cursed. I decided to give Silent Steve a 3 out of 10 because I just don't really know what this is supposed to be. Next, I made Hunky Jake. And I used a warden. I changed the shape of his body, colored him pink, and then I added his hat. I added Hunky Jake to the game and he was actually looking pretty good. Okay, maybe his animations don't really match him, but if he isn't moving, he looks fine. I also just noticed that his head keeps going into his body, but unfortunately, it's gonna stay like that. Since Hunky Jake looks really strong, let's see if he can beat an Iron Golem. Okay, this was stupid. He obviously can beat an Iron Golem. He's a warden. Since Hunky Jake is a warden, I decided to go find him in the deep dark. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. I was expecting the animation to be broken. I decided to spawn an army of Hunky Jakes, and then I watched them all chase me. Oh no, they're getting angry. Yeah, I wouldn't want this to happen to me. They look so scary with no legs. I decided to give Hunky Jake a 9 out of 10. His animations are broken, but he looks good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made the Jester. I used a pillager for the Jester. I colored one half purple, added some spikes, and then I gave him some eyes. I added the Jester to the game, and he looked pretty good. He looks a lot better than I thought he would. His face looked kind of weird in block bench. He also needs to stop aiming the bow at me. I'm not hostile. Next, I decided to see who would win, the Jester or Hunky Jake. I think we already know what's gonna happen. Yeah, the Jester
Jester got one hit. He had no chance. I decided to spawn an army of Jesters, and then I put them all against Hunky Jake. Okay, they might be able to win this time. There's a lot of them. That is if they stop shooting each other. Yeah, Hunky Jake wins this one too. Hopefully, the Jester is more powerful in the real game. I decided to give the Jester an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but also kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Evil Bambolina. For this one, I used a piglin. I colored her white, added some creepy eyes, and then I gave her some horns. Oh, that's not a piglin. That's a pig. Evil Bambolina actually looks really good in game. She might be even better than Evil Ban Ban. Oh yeah, she turns into a zombie. We have to go to the nether. But as I was saying, she actually looks really scary, even in Minecraft. Come on, Bambolina, give me some pearls. No, that's not what I wanted. I decided to spawn a baby Bambolina, and it looked just as scary, and then I spawned an army of evil Bambolinas. Oh, some of them have drip. After that, I decided to get chased by all the Bambolinas. I won't be late for class again, I'm sorry. I guess she doesn't want to send me to the principal's office. I decided to give evil Bambolina a 10 out of 10. She actually looks pretty scary in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sharp Claw, and I used an iron golem to make him. I changed the shape of his body, colored him pink, and then I added his eyes. Okay, this actually looks pretty good in game. Well, at least he looks like the picture. His nails are also really dirty. This guy definitely needs a shower. Sharp Claw kind of looks like Barney, so let's see if he's a friendly dinosaur. Okay, I don't think he wants to be friends. He's kind of mean, actually. Because he's so mean, I decided to make him fight Hunky Jake. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. We already know Hunky Jake can beat an Iron Golem from earlier. But what about four Sharp Claws? Okay, one is already dead. This isn't looking good. Dang, Hunky Jake is crazy. Yeah, I guess four Sharp Claws can't take this guy out. He's invincible. I decided to give Sharp Claw a 7 out of 10. I'm disappointed that four of them couldn't kill a Hunky Jake. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Charlie Cake. I decided to make him from a creeper. I deleted all this stuff, shaped him into a cake, and then I colored him in. After that, I drew his faces, added these things, and gave him some eyes. I don't think this is the right cake. He doesn't appear to be moving. Charlie Cake actually looks pretty decent, but I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a lot bigger. I don't know how he ended up this small. I will say he looks like he tastes a lot better than the actual cake, though. Hey, man, I was just kidding. I'm not gonna eat you. I decided to see a baby Charlie Cake, and then I realized that isn't real, so instead I spawned a supercharged Charlie Cake. Okay, I think the charge is a little bit tall for him. Oh, and the head is also moving. That's kind of weird. I decided to spawn a Sharp Claw, and then I tested if supercharged Charlie Cake can one-shot him. Oh, wow, that actually did a lot of damage, and he wasn't even really close to him, so he probably could have killed him. Here you go, Sharp Claw. I'll fix you up. I decided to give Charlie Cake a 7 out of 10. I don't really like how he looks. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Cyclopus. I used a Hoglin to make him. First, I deleted all this stuff. Next, I colored him in, and then I gave him an eye. After that, I gave him teeth, added his arms, and I put the collar around his arm. Cyclopus actually looks pretty good in game, but I'm not sure why he is shaking. Oh yeah, he turns into a zombie. That's why he's shaking. I went to the nether to go and find Cyclopus, and this is how he looks without the shake. I'm not gonna lie, he looks kind of like Stinky Joel from the last video, except he's red. This guy is walking a lot slower, though, and he looks like he wants to eat me for dinner. What about a baby Cyclopus? Okay, this guy is way too small. I don't think he can even jump up one block. I decided to spawn an army of Cyclopses, and then I made them all chase me. I don't know why they're so much faster now that they want to kill me. This is unfair. Okay, I need to stop getting chased by things. This is like the third time this video. Cyclopus and Evil Bambolina are both nether mobs, so I decided to see who would win in a fight. Bambolina has a bow. She should be able to win this one. Okay, never mind. Cyclopus actually won. I decided to give Cyclopus an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Crabzilla. I made Crabzilla from a strider. I moved his legs, shaped his body, and then I colored him red. After that, I gave him some eyes and some claws. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not what his legs are supposed to look like. I don't know how this always happens. I tried to fix his legs and this is what Crabzilla looked like in game. I'm not gonna lie, he looks pretty good other than when his body randomly turns without his legs. But stuff like that is normal around here, so he looks good. I spawned a baby Crabzilla and he looked about the same, except for his feet sinking into the ground. And then I decided to ride a Crabzilla. Okay, so I'm kind of sitting on his eyes, so I'm not sure if he can see. Yeah, there's definitely mobs that look good when you ride them, and this is not one of them. Also, I like how the baby is just following us around. That's kind of funny. I decided to give Crabzilla a 9 out of 10. He looks looks good, but his body is broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Mr. Smitty. I used a Vindicator to make him. I shrunk his legs and arms, colored him pink, and then I shaped his head. Next, I gave him some nostrils, added his eyes, and then I put the orange things on his back. Okay, Mr. Smitty actually looks pretty good in game. I like how his arms are crossed like that. It makes him look cool. But other than that, I don't know. He looks kind of boring. Since Mr. Smitty is a Vindicator, I decided to see if he can beat Sharp Claw in a fight. These guys kind of look like relatives. I think Mr. 
was Smitty as Sharp Claw's little brother. He fought him like his little brother too. He got destroyed. Since Mr. Smitty lost to Sharp Claw, I decided to feed him a villager to make him happy. I don't like him as much with the axe out. He looks kind of scary. R.I.P. Villager, Mr. Smitty was too fast. I decided to give Mr. Smitty a 6 out of 10. I'm not sure why, but I don't really like him. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Remy. Remy is a dog, so I used a wolf. I colored him orange, shaped his mouth, and then I gave him some eyes. After that, I added his teeth, and finally I gave him some feet. I added Remy to the game, and he looked a little bit better than he did in Block Bench. I'm not gonna lie, he looked pretty bad in Block Bench, though, so at least this is a little bit better. I wish I could say the same for the baby one, though. Why is his head so big? Don't worry, guys. Nothing to see here. I decided to tame a Remy, and this is what he looks like when he's sitting down. I don't know why, but this reminds me of the dog from Mickey Mouse. Maybe he's supposed to be a scary version of him or something. To see if he really is scary, I decided to make him fight Evil Bambolina. Okay, he can't be making those noises when he gets hit. I feel bad. Wow, he actually almost lost. That one was close. I'm going to give Remy a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he isn't really good either. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Lazcat. I used a cat for this one, obviously. I moved his legs, colored him pink, and then I shaped his head. Next, I colored his mouth, gave him some eyes, and finally, I gave him some teeth. Okay, this one is probably one of the worst mobs I've made, but it also looks pretty good for what it is. Like, I can't really see how I could have made this better. He just looks bad in general. What about a baby Lazcat? Okay, this is just too small. It kind of looks like a mouse. I decided to tame a Lazcat, and this is what he looks like when he is sitting down. Okay, I think there's something wrong with his front legs. They aren't really connected anymore. Since Lazcat is a cat and Remy is a dog, I decided to see which one of them will win in a fight. Okay, I guess dogs are stronger than cats. This settles it. I decided to give Lazcat a 6 out of 10. He looks worse than Remy. Next, I made Smiley Miley. And I used an Enderman because she's really tall. I changed her body, colored her blue, and finally I gave her some eyes. Smiley Miley ended up looking really good in game. Well, her face is a little creepy, but I'm still calling it good. Oh, her legs also don't seem to be attached when she walks, but it's fine. She still looks good. Since I made her from an Enderman, I decided to look her in the eyes, and then this happened. Okay, I think there is something wrong with her head, but I can't really tell what. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, please stop. I decided to go to the end to find some more Smiley Mileys, and then I obviously got them to chase me. When will I stop getting mobs to chase me? Probably never. I decided to give Smiley Miley an 8 out of 10. She looks good, but she was a little broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sharky Klee, and I used a warden to make him. First, I changed his body, then I colored him black, and finally I added the fins on his head. I added Sharky Klee to the game, and he actually ended up looking pretty scary, which is good because I made him from a warden. I decided to go to the deep dark to find Sharky Klee, and then I watched him emerge from the ground. I feel like this guy should be the actual warden. He seems to fit the job perfectly. I spawned an army of Sharky Klees, and then I got them all to chase me. What a nice day to go for a swim. I hope there aren't any sharks out here. Wait, where do they go? Oh, there they are. I went too far. I probably should have stayed away, though. This isn't looking good. I decided to give Sharky Klee a 10 out of 10. He honestly looks really good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Slime Rancher, and I used a slime to make him because it's in his name. First, I made him bigger, then I colored him a different green, and finally, I gave him some eyes. I've never remade a slime before, so hopefully this works. Oh, it actually worked. I didn't expect that. And I didn't expect him to be this big. I think this is the biggest mob I've made yet. Oh, I guess we'll ignore the back here. I didn't realize that would happen. Mojang should change the real slimes to this guy. If he was in the game, I would never enter a super flat world again. I spawned an army of Slime Ranchers, and it was actually pretty cool because of the different sizes of slimes. I feel like the small one is the size I thought it would be. I also spawned a really big slime rancher, and this looks like something from a really bad horror movie. Pro is terrorizing the city. I decided to see if slime rancher could beat Smiley Miley because I honestly didn't know. Okay, it looks like slime rancher just doesn't attack. That's unfortunate. And the babies don't want to avenge him either. R.I.P. I decided to give slime rancher a 10 out of 10. He looked really good, especially the massive one. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sad Seth, and I decided to use a Wither Skeleton for this one. I changed the shape of his body, colored him red, and then I gave him some extra arms. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I like this guy that much. The bottom eyes kinda look out of place, and also the sword he is holding just shouldn't be there. Actually, I can get rid of the sword, I forgot. It doesn't make him much better though, you're not even able to see some of his arms. Also, when he walks, his arms go through his body, that's great. Okay, I'm just hating, it's time to move on. Let's see if Sad Seth can beat Smiley Miley 
in a fight. I honestly think Sad Seth should win this one because he has a wither. Okay, it appears I'm wrong. Smiley Miley is just built different. I'm sorry, Sad Seth, but I gotta do it. You let me down. I decided to give Sad Seth a 6 out of 10. He looks fine, but he's just too broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Froggy Quack, and I decided to make him from an iron golem. First, I changed his body. Next, I colored him green. And finally, I added his head on the top. Okay, he actually looks a lot better than I thought he would. I thought for sure the head on top would look weirder. I will say the iron golem animations actually fit him pretty well, too. Nothing is broken. But I don't know, he's kind of a weird looking monster in general, so I'm not gonna say he looks perfect. I decided to spawn a Sharky Klee, and then both of them started fighting before I even did anything. I thought these guys would be friends, I wasn't trying to make them fight. I decided to spawn 5 froggy quacks, and then I made them all fight Sharky Klee for revenge. I'm not gonna lie, I still don't know if these guys can win, they're kinda getting destroyed. Yeah, I don't know, it's not looking good. Come on, froggy quack. Okay, I guess 6 froggy quacks isn't enough to take out Sharky Klee. I decided to give froggy quack an 8 out of 10, he didn't look that bad, but he wasn't the best either. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Whaley Bow. I made him from a pillager. I shrunk his limbs, colored him blue, and then I gave him some eyes. I added Whaley Bow to the game, and he seemed kind of scared. Like, why is he just aiming his bow at me? Oh, it's probably because Sharky Klee is right there, and sharks eat whales. But honestly, I can't really tell if this guy looks good or bad. Like, he looks like the picture, so that's good. But he also kind of looks like a weird cartoon character, and I'm not sure if he's supposed to be like that. I decided to spawn an army of Whaley Bows, and then I spawned one Froggy Quack to see if they can kill him. Alright, Whaley Bow already lost to the shark, but can he beat the frog? Okay, I'm not really sure if they can do it. They're just shooting each other instead of him. He seems to be taking damage really fast though, so it's possible that they could win. No way, the whales actually did it. Maybe they aren't so bad after all. I decided to give Whaley Bow an 8 out of 10. It would have been lower, but I raised it because they defeated Froggy Quack. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Toxic Gazer, and I made him from a witch because they like to throw poison. I changed his arms a bit, gave him a longer neck, and then I colored him green. Next, I gave him an eye, and finally I added these weird things that hang off his face. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about this guy. His face looks kind of weird. I think it's the things that are hanging off his head. They don't look anything like the actual monster. I will say the rest of him looks pretty accurate, though. Since Toxic Gazer is toxic, let's see him throw a bottle of poison at me. That's not poison, that's slowness. Oh wait, there we go. That was kind of rude. Don't worry, I got him back. Wait, why is he drinking Zolfius juice? What is going on? I decided to spawn a Whaley Bow, and then I made them fight to see who would win. This is such a weird fight because neither of them can melee, but it looks like Toxic Gazer is gonna lose. He seems to have no interest in the fight anymore. Okay, this just isn't ending. I guess it's a tie. I decided to give Toxic Gazer a 6 out of 10. I didn't really like the way he looked. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Chili. I decided to use a Creeper for Chili. First, I removed his head. Next, I colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. After that, I added his eye, gave him some teeth, and finally, I added his horns. I added Chili to the game, and he actually looked really good. I kind of expected this guy to look bad because he looks really goofy in general, but he might be one of my favorites so far. I will say that his red nose is really bothering me though, it makes him look like a clown. Since Chili is a creeper, I decided to see a supercharged Chili next. Okay, the charge isn't really meant for him, this is kind of cursed. I decided to spawn a toxic gazer, and then I tested to see if a regular Chili can kill him. Okay, he actually survived, and I respect it honestly, he just stood there and took the blast, he didn't even try to run. I decided to give Chili a 10 out of 10, I don't know why, but I really like him. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Evil Zolfius. I already have Zolfius, so I just removed his old face, added some white eyes, and gave him a way scare your mouth. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure regular Zolfius is evil already, so this guy must be a menace. I'm scared of what he'll do to me for even looking at him. But I will say, he actually looks really good. I think the red under his eyes made him look a lot better. This also reminds me of some of the Doors monsters I made, because a lot of them look like this. I decided to go to the nether to find an evil Zolfius, and then I decided to have a ping pong match with him. Okay, that wasn't really fair, he was stuck in the ground. I spawned an army of evil Zolfiuses, and then I decided to see how long it would take them to kill me. Okay, off to a good start, they already hit me. This looks like something you would find in your house at 3am. Okay, I'm dead, but that actually took a while, these guys kinda suck. I decided to give evil Zolfius an 8 out of 10, he looks pretty good, but I think I prefer normal Zolfius. It's time for the next mob. Next I made Sandy Jax, and I used a frog to make him, cause why not? I got rid of all this stuff, expanded his body, and then I colored him brown. I added Sandy Jax to the game, and I'm not gonna lie, he was looking kinda strange. This guy looks kinda like a diglet with a crown, and I don't know why, but he also looks like some kind of Burger King mascot. Oh, and he could also look like Mr. Potato Head, I guess. At least he can jump high, that is something good about him. I decided to spawn a baby Sandy Jax, which isn't a real thing, and then I spawned a tiny-
tiny slime rancher for him to eat. Wow, he ate that thing instantly. I guess he was hungry. I decided to give Sandy Jacks a 5 out of 10. I don't really like him. He looks weird. Next, I made the real garden of Ban Ban monsters. First, I made Tarta Bird, and I made him from a horse. You'll see why. I got rid of all this stuff, colored him blue, and then I added his wings. I added Tarta Bird to the game, and he actually looked pretty good, but I think there is something wrong with him. Yeah, for some reason, he's kind of dirty, and water isn't fixing it. I figured out how to fix this, and he was actually looking really good, except for this one spot on his beak, but we'll ignore it. I decided to spawn a baby Tarta Bird, and this is what he looked like. I like how he just follows the big one around, just like in the game. You're even able to put him on the big one's back as well. Oh wait, I guess he hasn't tamed him yet. In the actual game, you have to ride Tarta Bird, so I decided to try that for myself. Why does he keep doing that when he kicks me off? It looks really weird. I'm honestly surprised with how perfect this looks. I mean, the legs look a little bit weird, but this looks really good. I'm even able to make Tarta Bird jump. This is insane. I decided to give Tarta Bird a 10 out of 10. Honestly, there was nothing bad about him at all. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Nabnalina. I decided to make Nabnalina from an iron golem. I colored her fully black, gave her a mouth, and finally I added her arms. Nabnalina looks really good in game as well. The arms look kind of weird, but I think she's just asserting dominance. It's fine. Also, the legs are missing texture, but you didn't see that. This never happened. In the game, you have to inject Nabnalina with some kind of chemicals to make her come to life, so I decided to try that in game. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be drinking it. I guess she isn't thirsty. Nabnalina honestly looks pretty strong, so let's see if she can take out some pillagers. Okay, the pillagers don't really have a chance. They're getting destroyed. Yeah, Nabnalina didn't take any damage, but we'll give her an iron ingot anyway. She deserves it. There isn't much to do with Nabnalina, so I decided to make her ride Tarta Bird. Okay, I might have done that backwards, but honestly, this is better. Tarta Bird's legs probably needed a break anyway, although I'm not sure if Nabnalina is able to see anymore. I decided to give Nabnalina a 9 out of 10. It would have been a 10, but I can't look past the bra pose. It's too cursed. Next, I made Hijacked Ban Ban. I made him from a zombie. I changed the shape of his body, colored him red, and then I gave him some eyes. After that, I added his mouth, gave him some horns, and added his feet. I added Hijacked Ban Ban to the game, and he was honestly looking pretty scary. He also looks like Venom, or maybe that's just me. I always say things like this, and then they look nothing like it. Let's spawn a baby Ban Ban. This guy's kind of fast. This would actually be scary if it was the real zombie. I decided to spawn a real Ban Ban, and then I tested which one of them is the best Ban Ban. Ban Ban has a sword, so he probably wins this. Yeah, hijacked Ban Ban didn't stand a chance. Ban Ban destroyed him. I spawned an army of hijacked Ban Bans, and then I decided to get chased by them. Okay, he's not really that scary when he chases you at 0.1 miles per hour. The babies look kind of crazy, though. I decided to give hijacked Ban Ban a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. I'm just disappointed that he lost to real Ban Ban. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Tomataki and Chamataki. I hope that's how you say it. For these guys, I used a wolf. First, I made their shell, and then I added the chameleon. I forgot which one he is. And after that, I added the other guy. I added them to the game, and they honestly didn't look the best, yet somehow this one took me the longest to make. They're also not really the right size. I'm pretty sure these guys are huge in the game. But I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? I decided to spawn a baby one of them, and it just made it even worse. Now they are microscopic. In the game, Chamataki attacks you with his tongue, and I'm not really sure how to make that in Minecraft. So instead, I decided to feed him some steak, because I'm guessing he uses his tongue while eating. Tomataki shoots cyan balls from his mouth, so I just, yeah. They can't be making that sound, I feel bad. I decided to tame one of these guys, and then I made them fight a hijacked Ban Ban. Okay, Ban Ban lost again, he can't keep taking L's like this. I decided to give Tomataki and Chamataki a 5 out of 10, they just look kinda bad, that's all. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Mr. Kebab Man, and I made him from an Enderman, cause they're kinda built the same. I deleted everything, colored him gray, and then I gave him some arms. After that, I added his eyes, put the bandage thing on the back, and gave him his party hats. I added Mr. Kebab Man to the game, and he honestly wasn't looking that bad. I mean, I don't know if he was looking good, but he's definitely not bad. I like how when he walks, he actually looks good because I removed the legs. In the game, Mr. Kebab Man is supposed to mimic Ban Ban, so I decided to see if he can take out Hijacked Ban Ban as well. Come on, Hijacked Ban Ban, you got this one. No more else. Okay, I'm done with Hijacked Ban Ban. He's never winning a fight. I decided to visit the end to find more Mr. Kebab Mans, and then I did what I always do. It's kind of scary how they just, like, hover to me. I think I made a little too many of them angry. I decided to give Mr. Kebab Man a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he also doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Stinger Flynn. I decided to make him from an Elder Guardian. I removed all this stuff, colored him orange, and then I added the spot around his eye. Next, I added his 
eye, gave him some legs, and then extended the legs out a bit. Stinger Flint actually looks pretty good this time around. He's a lot better than the old one I had. He is also a lot bigger because apparently Stinger Flint isn't tiny. Since Stinger Flint is jumping around like this, I decided to spawn him in the water. Bro was just going crazy on the squids. So what did the squids do to him? He honestly looks pretty good in the water. There is one thing wrong though. His legs are definitely supposed to move, but I don't really know how to do that, so it's fine. Stinger Flynn was driving when they were all going to the beach, so I decided to see if he can drive a car. Okay, I don't really think he's able to drive the car. He's not moving. He's also way bigger than the car. You can't even really see it. He doesn't really want to get in a boat either. I guess this guy doesn't like vehicles. In the game, you also get to play as Stinger Flynn, so I decided to give that one a try. He's kind of just vibing. Not much is really getting done. This is boring. I decided to give Stinger Flynn a 9 out of 10. If his legs moved, it would be a 10, but unfortunately, that's never gonna happen. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Queen Bouncelia. I used a hoglin to make her. I colored her body purple, gave her a face, and then added her wand. I added her to the game, and her head was looking kind of broken, so I decided to fix that. Okay, that's still a little messed up, but it's good enough. Also, her feet are both on the same leg, but I'm not fixing that. Only one fix per mob. Since Queen Bouncelia was made from a hoglin, I decided to go find her in the nether. I'm not usually a fan of these guys because they like to hit you from far away, but I guess for Queen Bouncelia, I'll make an exception. I decided to spawn an army of Queen Bouncelias, and then I made them all chase me. Hopefully this doesn't happen in the actual game, because these guys are kind of scary. Also, their legs look kind of funny. I'm going to give Queen Bouncelia an 8 out of 10. Other than the broken stuff, she looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made an Opila chick. I used a parrot to make the Opila chick, and I decided to make the shiny one, or whatever you would call it. You probably wouldn't call it shiny, it's not a Pokemon. The Opila chicks are so tiny in game, and they actually kind of sound like the chicks from the actual game. I'm pretty sure Dodo birds can't fly, so that's kind of a problem, but other than that, they look great. In the game, you have to abduct all the Opila chicks and move them to their beds, so I decided to try that in Minecraft as well. What? Who is this? Where did the Opila chick go? That was interesting, but I mean it worked. I can also spawn a baby Opila bird, and it kind of looks like the default Opila chick texture. Although this one isn't as cool, all I can really do is feed it a bunch of seeds. Oh, that's not an Opila chick anymore. In Garden of Banban Ban 2, there are 6 Opila chicks, and in the first game, you feed Opila bird 6 eggs, so there's definitely some interesting birth methods going on there, so let's test to see if this is true. Wait, it actually worked. I decided to give the Opila chick a 10 out of 10. Overall, it looks really good, and you are even able to keep one of these as a pet. Wait, my bad, Opila bird, I didn't know. Next, I'm going to make Slow Celine. Since Slow is literally in her name, I made her from a turtle. I gave her a big green shell, added her long neck, and then I gave her some bright white Teeth. After that, I added her two large eyes, and I drew a swirl on each side of her shell. I think she turned out pretty good. The eyes and the mouth are really creepy, just like in the actual game. Let's see a baby Slow Celine. I like how it's just a really small version of the regular one. In the actual game, Slow Celine chases you down a hallway, so I decided to add that as well. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. She's just slowly approaching. She is also not looking away, so I guess I have to keep standing still. Because I made Slow Celine from a turtle, I can also put her in the water and she will be fine. Okay, she's not really that slow anymore. Imagine going to the beach and there was just a massive snail swimming around in the water. Probably happens in Florida. I decided to give Slow Celine a 9 out of 10. She looks really good in game, but she's kind of boring in general. It's time for the next mob. In the game, there are 7 different Fiddles crew members, so I made all of those next. I used a strider to make them all, and first I made brown Fiddles. This is the actual color used in the game. I don't really know how this is brown. Next, I made Cyan Fiddles, and there is a giant giant version of him in the game, but I don't know how to make that, so instead I just made a giant stack of cyan fiddles. I'm sure the ones on the top are fine. Next I made emerald fiddles, and this is him in game, and then I made orange fiddles. Orange fiddles only has one tooth, I wonder what happened to the other one. Pink fiddles has two teeth, and apparently he is dead in the game, so I'm just gonna have to. Next I made red fiddles, and he is my favorite because his eyes just stay like this forever. Like how is he able to see anything? Here's me riding a red fiddles as well, he honestly looks better than the actual Strider. The last Fiddles is Yellow Fiddles, who apparently has a pirate-like appearance because of his missing eye. So because of this, I am kidnapping him in a boat. I'm going to give the Fiddles a 63 out of 10. There's 7 of them, so they get 7x the score. Next, I made Sheriff Toaster. I mean Toadster. I made him a frog because that's probably what he is. I changed the shape of his body, colored him the same color as the McDonald's villain, and made his weird-shaped head. Next, I added his teeth, and I gave him his badge on his chest. Finally, I colored in his belly, and gave 
gave him this little hat on top of his eye. I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't really look like he's smiling. Instead, he looks like the bully from Arthur. His arms are also completely broken. I'm pretty sure I attached them to his legs. Sheriff Toadster probably fights crime, so I'm going to steal no pillow chick in front of him and see what he does. He doesn't appear to be doing too much. He is jumping really high though. He definitely made it through police training. Maybe an army of Toadsters will stop me. I already knew they wouldn't. I don't know why I did this. Oh, I guess Sheriff Toadster is hungry. I'm going to give Sheriff Toadster a 7 out of 10. He looks kind of weird, honestly. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Nab Nab. I made Nab Nab from a spider because he kind of looks like a spider. I gave him some long legs and arms, changed the shape of his body, and then I colored him fully blue. After that, I gave him some teeth, then I added his tongue, and finally I gave him three eyes. Okay, I don't think his legs are supposed to look like that. I fixed his legs, and then he looked a lot better in game. Well, I don't know about better, but putting him sideways actually makes him look scary. In the game, you get chased by Nab Nab, so I decided to try that in Minecraft. Yeah, this is definitely not something you want chasing you. It just looks so weird because in the actual game, he's on the roof and not on the ground. Nab Nab is also supposed to have a birthday hat, and I didn't even notice, so we'll just pretend I added a hat. Also, if you can't tell, Nab Nab is Ban Ban spelt backwards, so because of that, you should eat Dirk Bus. But I decided to get Sheriff Toadster to lock him up for good. He sure won't be escaping this jail, especially not through the vents. I decided to give Nab Nab a 6 out of 10. He looks kind of cursed. I'm sorry, Nab Nab. I meant 10, I swear. Next, I decided to make Zolfius. I don't know what Zolfius is, but he's big, so I made him from a ghast. Zolfius is just a circle with a face that looks like it was drawn by a one-year-old, so I decided to do that. The only difference is I'm not one years old, I think. I added Zolfius to the game, and it kind of reminds me of when I made Ambush. They look very similar. I would have to say that Zolfius is scarier, though. It's something about the amazing art skill required to make his face. I decided to visit the nether to find a wild Zolfius. He kind of looks like a ping pong paddle, so let's see who will win a game of ping pong, me or Zolfius. I don't think he wanted to play. I wonder what it will look like if I fill the whole sky with Zolfiuses. Yeah, this is a pretty good Minecraft experience. I literally cannot hear anything. I'm going to give Zolfius an 8 out of 10. He's a big flying drawing. How bad could he be? It's time for the next mob. Next, I'm making Mini Josh. It is unknown if Mini Josh will be hostile, but I'm assuming he is, so I made him from a silverfish because they are small and hostile. I deleted all of these things, added his legs, made his body bigger, and then I gave him some arms. After that, I added his head, colored him fully green, and then I added his eyes. Mini Josh looks like he's sad, so I gave him a sad mouth, and then I added him to the game. I was surprised with how he looks in game. All this waddling looks pretty weird. Also, none of his body parts move, which makes him look pretty bad. I decided to spawn Mini Josh with Jumbo Josh, and what happened next was shocking. I'm just kidding, you probably expected this. Next, I spawned an army of Mini Joshes, and then I made them fight Jumbo Josh. This is like a Mr. Beast video, 100 kids versus one adult. Mini Joshes could actually win this one, there's a lot of them. Never mind, Jumbo Josh seems to be invincible. I decided to give Mini Josh a 5 out of 10, he's kind of missing a lot of things, like moving arms and legs. It's time for the next mob. You're probably wondering where Jumbo Josh came from. I used the warden to make Jumbo Josh, and I gave him a big head, a creepy mouth, and then I added some green texture all around him. Jumbo Josh is massive in game, and he actually looks really good as the warden. Jumbo Josh also tells kids to eat fruits and vegetables to become strong like him, but honestly, I wouldn't let him near your kids. I went to the deep dark to see Jumbo Josh emerge from the ground, and then I fed him some fruit and vegetables like he says. Unfortunately, Jumbo Josh didn't want to eat the food, and instead, he wanted to eat me. I would say that I killed him to try and make myself look cool, but let's be honest, we all know what happened. I'm going to give Jumbo Josh a 10 out of 10, and that has nothing to do with him holding me hostage. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Ban Ban. I made Ban Ban from a wither skeleton. I colored him fully red, gave him some eyes and a mouth, and then I added his big tongue. I then gave him his birthday hats on his head, and finally I changed his arms a little bit. Apparently, changing his arms a little bit didn't matter though, because they fully disappeared in the game. Oh wait, they're inside of him. I decided to fix his arms, and this is how Ban Ban looks in game. I decided to visit the nether to try and find Ban Ban myself. Ignore the netherrack, I don't know how this got here. When you think of it, Ban Ban is a devil, so he's supposed to be in the nether. Wait, guys, I was just kidding, I didn't say that. To make things a little more cursed, I decided to replace all the heads on the wither with the Ban Ban heads. Now let's see who will win, the Ban Ban, Wither, or Jumbo Josh. Why is Jumbo Josh not fighting back? Okay, now he's going crazy. Alright, Jumbo Josh couldn't do anything, Ban Ban was flying. I decided to give Ban Ban a 6 out of 10, he doesn't look that great. It's time for the next mob. Next, let's make Ban Bolina. 
I used a wither skeleton for Ban Ban, so I made Ban Balina from a skeleton. I copy pasted all of Ban Ban's body parts onto her, and then I colored her fully white. Next, I gave her some eyes and drew her mouth, and then finally I added her pink bow on her horn thing. I forgot Ban Balina also had a problem with her arms, so I had to fix it again. This is how Ban Balina looks in game. She kind of looks like a weird bunny. I then spawned a Ban Balina army and made them fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, they're all just fighting each other. Yeah, Jumbo Josh wins this easily. Ban Balina is cool, but look at me spawning a bunch of crows. I then made Ban Ban fight Ban Balina to see who would win. I'm sorry, Ban Balina. I kind of already knew what would happen. I decided to give Ban Balina a 5 out of 10. It's not because I don't like her. It's just because I don't <laughs> like her. Next, I made Opilla Bird. I used a chicken to make Opilla Bird, and I gave her a long neck, some purple wings, and a yellow beak. I then added these creepy looking eyes to her and added her to the game. Opilla Bird actually looks pretty good as well, but the baby, not so much. At least I don't have to worry about her chasing me, though, because she's a chicken. Well, she'll chase me, but she's not gonna do anything, I think. In the game, Opilla Bird is supposed to fall into the ball pit, so I decided to test if she would survive a massive fall in Minecraft. She made it to the ground without taking damage. There is a mini game where you have to feed Opilla Bird six eggs, so I added that to the game as well. Kind of. I tried to swap Jumbo Josh and Opilla Bird's textures around to make a joke, but this just happened. Opilla Bird says laughter is the best medicine, so I'm asking you to laugh at that joke. Do it for her, not for me. I decided to give Opilla Bird an 8 out of 10 because she can't harm me for my opinion. Okay, really? Next, I made Captain Fiddles. I made Captain Fiddles from a strider. First, I shrunk his legs and made his body smaller. Next, I colored him fully blue and I gave him a mouth and some eyes. Then, finally, I added some arms and some hands. Captain Fiddles actually looks pretty good in game, other than the fact that his legs aren't attached. Also, he's a really good method of transportation. Okay, well, he's not that good. He's kind of slow, honestly. You can even spawn a baby Captain Fiddles for whatever reason. His legs are even more broken, but it's fine. It is said that Captain Fiddles is known for his love of music, so I decided to play a song for him. This was really bad. It's supposed to be the Rick Roll song. Sorry. <laughs> to test if Captain Fiddles is a real captain, I decided to give him control of a boat. I'm going to give Captain Fiddles a 9 out of 10 because there isn't that much wrong with him. Next, I combined some of the monsters. Alright, let's spin the wheel. And we got Jumbo Josh. And he's going to be combined with Ban Balina. Okay, this will be interesting. I colored him white, added some pink around his mouth and eyes, and then I added Ban Balina's horn things. I added this thing to the game and it was actually looking pretty good. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it Josh Balina. Josh Balina honestly looks like a terrible version of Ban Balina, but don't tell her I said that. She looks kind of scary. I decided to spawn the real Ban Balina, and then I found out who would win. Okay, I didn't even see Ban Balina die. What happened? It was expected, though, because Josh Balina is just an upgraded version of Ban Balina. Since Josh Balina is a warden, I decided to go find her in the deep dark. Okay, she looks pretty scary coming out of the ground, I'm not gonna lie. I spawned an army of Josh Balinas, and then I decided to make them all chase me. This went just as well as it normally does. Why do I keep doing this? I decided to give Josh Balina a 10 out of 10. She looks exactly how she should look. It's time for the next mob. Let's see who we get next. Okay, we got Evil Ban Ban, and we're combining him with Stinger Flynn. I colored him orange, gave him one eye instead of two, and then I changed his arms and legs to tentacles. I added him to the game, and he was honestly looking pretty cursed, especially when he walks. The tentacles just move like feet, but honestly, he really does look like Ban Ban Flynn. That's what I'm calling him. Ban Ban Flynn kind of looks like he wants to give me a hug, so I decided to test if that's true. Okay, I think I read that wrong. I think he wants to eat me instead. I decided to spawn a baby Ban Ban Flynn, and this is what he looks like. I like how his legs are just moving super speed whenever he walks. Since Stinger Flynn comes from the water, I decided to see if Ban Ban Flynn could live in the water too. Nothing's happening to him so far. Maybe he actually can. Nope, never mind. This doesn't look like Ban Ban Flynn anymore. Let's just get rid of this. I decided to give Ban Ban Flynn a 10 out of 10. There was nothing wrong with him either. It's time for the next mob. Okay, next we have Nab Nab, and let's see who he gets combined with. Cyan Fiddles. Okay, we can do that. All I did was color him cyan, give him new eyes, and change his mouth to make it more fiddlesy. Okay, there is definitely something wrong with his legs. I forgot to fix this. Okay, that looks a lot better. Well, I don't know if it's better. He looks really weird with the fiddle's face. Like, look at this. This definitely isn't right. I decided to spawn an army of Nab Nab Fiddleses, and then I got them all to chase me. This is honestly a lot scarier than regular Nab Nabs. Like, why do their eyes even look like that? Since we now have two mobs that aren't overpowered, let's see who will win. Nab Nab Fiddles are banned. Ban 
Ban Flynn. I'm thinking that Ban Ban Flynn probably has this one. Okay, I was right, but it was honestly a pretty close fight. But honestly, Nab Nab Fiddles is pretty cursed, so I'm just gonna do this. I decided to give Nab Nab Fiddles a 5 out of 10. He kind of looks like a cereal mascot. It's time for the next mob. Okay, next we're doing Captain Fiddles, and we're combining him with Mini Josh. I made him green instead of blue, gave him new eyes, and then I added his sad Mini Josh face. I added him to the game, and he was looking exactly how he was supposed to. The only problem is he kind of just looks like a Fiddles crew member. He's kind of boring. I spawned a baby Captain Josh, and he actually looks a lot more like Mini Josh now, because he's small. He also does this weird thing where his whole body gets disconnected, but I'm not fixing that. It's fine. Since Captain Josh is made from a strider, I decided to ride him next. Okay, I'm kind of floating, but I've seen rideable mobs that look worse. This one isn't that bad. Also, is it just me, or does the baby kind of look like a piece of green toast with arms and legs? I decided to give Captain Josh a 7 out of 10. He looks good, but he's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. Next up, we have Zolfius, and he is going to be combined with Nabnalina. Okay, this one should be interesting. I colored him black, gave him a mouth, and then I gave him some Nabnalina eyes. And finally, I put Nabnalina's bow on the top. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this one looks really strange. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I also don't really know what to call it, so I'm gonna call it Zolfalina. There isn't much to do with Zolfalina, so I decided to go find her in the nether. She honestly doesn't look much better in the nether either. I know I said this when I made Zolfius originally, but she kind of looks like a giant ping pong paddle. Only this time, she has an actual mouth and eyes. I decided to spawn a Josh Polina, and then I made her fight Zolfalina, but it wasn't really working, so I guess we'll call it a tie. Yeah, for some reason, Josh Polina just can't attack. This is kind of funny, honestly. She's just running around angrily. I decided to give Zolfalina a 6 out of 10. She looks really weird, and there's nothing to do with her. It's time for the next mob. Next, we have regular Ban Ban, and we're combining him with Mr. Kebab Man. I don't really know how I'll do that. I colored Ban Ban fully gray, made his arms and legs skinnier, and then I gave him some eyes like Mr. Kebab Man. Okay, his arms are still missing because this is an old version of Ban Ban. I should probably fix that. I'm not gonna lie, this one actually looks really good. I was expecting it to look bad. I guess I could have just used Mr. Kebab Man's model though because Mr. Kebab Man mimics Ban Ban in the game. There is one thing that is weird about him though. His eyes make him look like a dolphin. Also, we have to name this guy. I'm gonna call him Mr. Ban Ban Man. I decided to spawn a Ban Ban Flynn and then I made him fight Mr. Ban Ban Man to see who is the better Ban Ban combination. Mr. Ban Ban Man is a wither so he should win this. Yeah, that was too easy for him, not gonna lie. Now let's see if he can beat Nab Nab Fiddles. Okay, that was also too easy and the only other fight we can do is against Josh Bolina, and I think we know how that will end up. I decided to give Mr. Ban Ban Man a 9 out of 10. He honestly looked really good other than the dolphin eyes. It's time for the next mob. Okay, now we have Sheriff Toadster, and we are combining him with Queen Bouncelia. This one won't be that bad. I changed his color a little bit, gave him a crown, and then I added his wand. After that, I gave him a pouch, and then I added his tail. I added him to the game, and he wasn't actually looking that bad. It kind of just looks like a relative of Sheriff Toadster. I will say he still looks like the McDonald's villain, though. That hasn't changed. Oh yeah, I forgot he walks like this. That's kind of weird. I think for this one, we will name him Sheriff Bouncelia, and since Queen Bouncelia is a queen, I guess that makes him the king. Since Sheriff Bouncelia is a frog, I decided to feed him some slimes. The slimes just kind of glide into him. That looks so weird. It actually kind of looks like it's going into the pouch. That's kind of cool, actually. I decided to give Sheriff Bouncelia an 8 out of 10. He looks good, but there isn't much to do with him. It's time for the next mob. Okay, next we are doing Tarta Bird. And we got the Jester. This one might be a little weird. All I really did was color him green and purple, and then I made the face look a bit more like the Jester. Okay, this one actually looks kind of weird. I don't know why, but it looks a little bit like a three-year-old's art project. But it's all that I could really do. I don't know how I could have made this one better. For this one, we have to call him Jester Bird. That's a pretty sick name. We can also spawn a baby Jester Bird, so let's do that. Alright, that's basically the same thing, but smaller, which is probably a good thing. I decided to tame a Jester Bird, and after I tamed him, I decided to ride him. We saw this last time with a regular Tarta Bird, but he honestly looks perfect when you ride him. If Minecraft ever added ostriches, this is exactly what it would look like, other than the fact that he is green and purple. I decided to give Jester Bird a 7 out of 10. I just don't really like the way he looks, I don't know why. It's time for the next mob. Okay, next we have Tomataki and Kamataki, and we are combining them with Opilla Bird. Interesting. I didn't really know what to do with this one, but eventually I colored them Opilla Bird colors, and then I removed their heads and put Opilla's head in front instead. Yeah, this one looks really weird, but that's honestly what I was expecting. I didn't expect this to look good. I will say it looks pretty good for what it is, though. I think I got the combination perfect. Also, we are naming him Tomopilla and Kamopilla, even though there is only one head now. I decided to spawn a baby Tomopilla and Kamopilla, and this is what it looked like. Pretty much the same as the big one. 
After that, I decided to tame one of these guys, and this is what he looks like sitting down. Why is his head doing that? It looks so weird. Since Tomopilla and Kamopilla and Jester Bird are both birds, I decided to see who would win in a fight. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think Jester Bird fights back. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I forgot he wasn't gonna attack. I decided to give Tomopilla and Kamopilla an 8 out of 10. It looks pretty cursed, but that's just how it's supposed to be. It's time for the next mob. Okay, our final combination is an Opilichick and Slow Selene. But let's spin to see which mob we'll use as a base. Okay, we're using Opilichick. I changed the color of him completely, gave him Slow Selene's eyes and mouth, and then I added her shell. This might be one of the most cursed combinations yet, I won't lie. The mouth underneath the beak also looks so weird, it's kind of like a reverse mustache. I decided to name this one Opilla Selene, and then I spawned a baby one. Okay, there are no baby parrots, never mind. Since Opilla Selene is a parrot, I am able to keep one of these as a pet, so I decided to tame her. Yo, why is she dancing? She's kind of going in. Oh yeah, I forgot she glitched out when she goes on my shoulder. What is this? I decided to give Opilla Selene a 9 out of 10. She was cursed, but I kind of liked her.